What's up guys? Cole here again with dropshotblog.com. Today I have a quick one minute tune up for you guys to help you work on your neck game. Particularly volleying and moving forward and back, changing between offensive and defensive volleys. I got Zach with me here today to help me with a demonstration. We're going to do a quick drill popularized by the Bryan brothers, used for practicing exactly what I was talking about, moving forward between offensive and defensive volley. So Zach is going to start at the service line. We're both volleying at the neck. I'm going to be up closer as if I were closing in, maybe in doubles getting ready to poach, or in a singles point, getting ready to take control of the net and put away to win the point. I'm going to start an offensive position while Zach is going to be working on a more low defensive volley. This drill, when done properly, will have a smooth transition between moving forward and backward as the rally progresses. So as I move back, as the rally goes on, Zach will be moving forward until I get to where Zach started and Zach gets to where I started and then we'll move back in a similar pattern and keep going as long as we possibly can. Watch. And there you have it. With that volley drill, you can see how it really makes you work on your reaction time and being as simple as you possibly can in setting the racket face so that you're ready for whatever ball comes your way. When you're both at the net, aggressively hitting the volleys, you do not have a lot of time to react and take big swings. That's why you saw us having compact swings, both moving forward and backward as we attack the net and move defensively. I hope this quick tip helps you guys. And again, the only way you can perfect this is to do it yourself in practice so find a partner, get out there on court, and work your butt off. Check back at dropshotblog.com for more tips, videos, podcasts, and articles about the ATP World Tour and other ideas on how to improve your game. Thanks for watching.